everybody. How are you? This is Leslie McGrath from Scrapping Life Away, and it's May. Can you believe it? It's May already. I think I only have 16 more days of school. Yay. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 5, 10, 14. I have 14 more days left of school. Yay. And then I'm off for summer break. All right. Uh, down to business. It is time for the Gina B. Aaron's design team. May uh, project and the words that we were given for inspiration for the month of May was peak height and flourish and I'd be lying to you if I didn't say I did not struggle with this one a little bit this is my third attempt <laughs> at this one oh I sorry right. I had paint all over my hands um, but you know, I've learned I'm just gonna go with my with my soul and my heart and my gut, and I'm just gonna leave my brain out of it. <laughs> um, I guess many people would probably say I leave my brain out of a lot of things, but yeah, I really don't care what other people think anyway. All right, so I've already pre-gessoed my page, and I need I need my cloth. I need my palette. All right, so we're going to start from the bottom up. Um, I'm going to use Deco Art. This is Holiday Green. And actually, you know what? Instead of showing you all the names of the paints, first of all, just to let you know right off the bat, I'm probably going to be using all Deco Art paint, and I'll list the names of the paints that I use in the description below along with links to all of the other design team videos. Um, we have quite a few gals on the design team and let me tell you they do some really really awesome work. So it's um, I, like I said I just can't believe this is May. That just floors me. But anyway um, I'm sure this is just enlightening. I'm sure you're just thrilled to see all this. Um, painting it's really pretty self-explanatory and I'm not gonna bore you with all the um, details or let you sit here and watch me paint or throw paint on a page um, it's really pretty easy but um, just to let you know I did pre gesso my page with my homemade gesso um, I have a video on this I will put the link in the description below as well and yes, that was a shameful plug for myself. <laughs> All right, so you know what? I'm going to get started. I'm throwing some paint down on this, and um, I'm going to put you to some music. So enjoy my um, presentation of spring of my May project, and I hope you enjoy it. And I will talk to you on the other side.
my grass done. I have my beautiful sky done. I'm going to set this off to the side. Hopefully not in anything ah, wet. Here, I'm just going to set it over here. Okay. What this is here, I'm going to turn it on this way. So if there's something white <laughs> that you can see it is better on. I'm trying really hard to keep my head out of the way. Let's see if this shows up a little bit better for you. All right, what I did, I went out in my neighborhood and I just started taking pictures of things that I thought that looked like spring. And so I did that and then I kind of played with it in um, a program on my computer. And um, so I found this beautiful flowering pear tree and I thought, I want to play with this. So I went ahead and um, took a picture of it, edited it, edited it, edited it, and then um, printed it out on just plain old tissue paper. And I printed it. There's two different sizes to tissue paper. This one's really, this size really smooth and kind of shiny and slick. And this side has a little bit rougher side to it and it feels like it just accepts the ink a little bit better. So what I did was I went ahead and printed this. Ooh, sorry, I told you I'm really trying hard to keep my head out of the way. And then I took it outside and I sprayed it with the um, Krylon varnish. And by doing that I'm sealing my ink in and that way when I go to put anything on top of this it won't run and it is an inkjet printer so it will run um, there's no doubt about it so what I have done is I've kind of traced out um, I don't want the whole tree because it's really kind of big so I'm going to do the way I, I have always um, the way that I learned how to do this. First thing I'm going to do is even I'm going to cut this to size. I mean along the lines I should say. Really just a smidge. So I have some room to play. Up here it doesn't really matter. I'm kind of I'm going to pull it away, the excess away, by wetting it with one of my water brushes. So that way, when I go to adhere it to my page with matte medium, it will pretty much disappear. the The paper will disappear into this into the design and you won't even know it's there. All right, which side did I draw on? I drew on this side. All right, so I'm just going to go along like this. going to use my thumb as my guide. This also will give it a more natural look. like my color is bleeding a little bit but not too bad. See that purple? So I'm trying to do this without getting my head in the way. 
<laughs> my last video, my gosh, I didn't realize how much my head was in in the frame. So I apologize for that. I'm really trying to keep it out of frame. But I'm sure you really don't want to see my big old head. And that is my beautiful tree. Just a little bit of a tree trunk down here. I want to scoot just a little bit of this off here on the end. There we go. Throw that away. Next thing I want to do, I'll lay this on here. Let's see, this is the, all right, that's the shiny side. This is the side that I printed on. I'm going to take some white paint and my pearlizing medium. And I'm just going to make, I need another piece of bubble wrap here. Hold on, because my other bubble wrap has blue on it. I can't remember what this was. Something came in this. It's a bag, but I love my bubble wrap. It makes awesome, awesome um, texture. Okay. Let me turn this around. Don't need that anymore. Put that up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my white paint and I'm going to take my pearlizing medium I'm going to add that to it. Take my brush, and that's, that brush has a little too much blue in there. All right, and I'm going to mix this up here. So there's a, I could have just put the pearl on it maybe, but I really, sorry, sorry, sorry about my head, but I really wanted to make sure that there was some white because of the blue texture back behind the, um, on the page. All right, so what I'm going to do, I need to make some blossoms for my tree. So I'm just going to dab it on just like this. And they'll be nice and glimmery, just like the buds are on the tree. Now I may have to go back over this again because I am going to put this down with matte medium which tends to take a little bit of the shimmer away and it's also picking up some purple from somewhere. 
I'm not sure where. So those are my blossoms on my pear tree. I'm going to dry this up real quick and we'll be All right, right back. So before I glue this down, I need to do some stamping. And I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this because I can't really fit my stamp pad, my what I use to um, for cushy stamping. My tree is going to go right there. But I have two stamps. Where'd they go? Excuse my squeaky chair. Okay, I am using Gina's um, Wild Heart Set 3 of her stamps. I'm going to be using two of them. I'm wondering if I can get two sets of these on here. No, I think I'm only going to be able to do one. That's okay. That'll be fine. Like right about there. All right. I need my... Need my stays on. These are not going to stay black. I will probably paint these in or color them in in some way, shape, or form. That's my tree. So I'm going to center you right, right about there. this off. Get my other stamp. I love Gina's stamps. She has um, some new sets that are going to be released. I'm not sure when they're going to be released. I just saw, actually those weren't the, those were stencils. I'm sorry. She has some new stencils. I'm not sure when they're going to be released yet. I did see a sneak peek though in there. Way cool. All right, right here. Press, 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 press. And straight up. Gorgeous. I know you can't see it real well because it's pretty, it's pretty, um, the lines are pretty fine, but I will be doing some, some work on those. So, and then I'll have my tree. All right, so let me give that a quick heat set and let me go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and put this down with matte medium and I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, title out um, with matte medium as well. I'll go ahead and get that laid out and then I will be back so we can finish this part. I'll be right okay, back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. All right, I have put my title on. Spring is in the air. I also took some um, of the lighter green and put it in my tree because in springtime, your trees are kind of, um, they're not a real dark green. They're more of a, a light green because they're just starting to come out. So now I am putting on um, my little buds because this is this tree is a Bradford pear and Bradford pear trees have the most beautiful, beautiful fl white flowers in the springtime. It is my favorite favorite thing about spring. So at the height and or peak <laughs> of spring, 
you get the most beautiful white buds, flowers, on the Bradford pear trees. And these Bradford pear trees do not bear fruit, but the only bad thing about them is I think they have a pretty, um, their limbs are pretty weak, and I think they also have a fairly um, low, or um, not real deep uh, root system, so when we get wind, they do have a tendency to blow over and um, to have branches break off. But we get some pretty wicked storms here in Indiana. But still, it is my favorite thing about spring. And I'll tell you, there was a spring a couple years ago, and my Bradford pear was um, in full bloom, just beautiful, and we had a hard frost, and it turned all of my beautiful, um, all my beautiful buds black. It was horrible. It was absolutely horrible, and we ended up having a really hot summer that year, but still. All right, so there we are. Got that done. I've got more paint on my hands. Now the next thing I want to do, let me see, I think I'm going to use this. I may regret this, I may not, I don't know. Actually, let me dry this up so I don't stick my hand in it. I'll be right back. All right, I have this all dried. I'm just trying to cool it down so I don't make sure everything is all dry and cool. I did add a little bit of brown here with my Posca, with a brown Posca to make my tree trunk a little bit more brown and evident. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a darker green Posca and I'm going to draw in these leaves. for this beautiful plant. So, and I think I'm also going to draw in the stems of the flowers as well. I'm starting to kind of go over this kind of roughly because I want it to be kind of um, I mean these aren't really true to scale per se of a on a this is not a fine art piece so I'm just gonna kind of scribble this together because I want it to show like it's one piece stems down here. Okay, draw those out. I'm going to give this a quick dry, won't be but a second, and I'll be right back. It'd be nice if I turned the camera back on, wouldn't it? <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm just going to color, in, I'm just coloring in these leaves. And again, this is a different, this is a Posca, just a different color. It's a lighter green obviously. But it just gives a little bit more depth.
to the leaf. Just gonna kind of outline these a little bit. I love my Posca pens. And I really love it when they don't leak all over the place. Because they do tend to do that. So you have to, I found that you have to be kind of um, light handed with them. That looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to give that a quick dry and then we're going to do up here. Be right back. Okay, I have those done. Now I'm going to do my flowers. Let's see if I can do them without getting my head in the way. These almost look like little hearts, don't they? One thing I do not have in my yard are spring flowers. I have hostas, but I don't have any other um, spring flowers. I keep saying to myself every fall, I'm going to plant some spring flowers, and I never get around to it. It's just one of those things. Plus, it would require me to um, kneel on my knees and that is not always um, real good for my arthritis to be down on my knees like that. Uh, let's see, I'm thinking I can always change this if I don't like it, but I'm thinking I want to go A little pink on these. purple wasn't quite dry. That's all right. Some neon pink on here. There we go. I have a, a purple dot in a pink. Ooh. See, this is why <laughs> I like to do this on a rag before I put it on there. Because look at those big globs. Yeah, it tends to be kind of leaky. But let's see if I can do it without doing that. Woohoo, I did it. All right. And now let's grab a black pot. 
ask I do? I'm going to do this real sketchy. I'm going to hold this, I'm holding this at the end just to make sure that I kind of do it sketchy. I don't, you know, um, I, I find with me if I grip things like this, it tends to not be quite as um, light as I would like it to be. So I'm just going to kind of spring is in. The And that is, this style is so not my style. And that's why I do it, because it's out of my comfort zone to do something sloppy. Spring is in the air. And now all that's left is for me to sign it and date it. And it's all done. Oh, no. There's one more thing. I'll be right back. Okay. Well, there we are. We are done. Spring is in the air. And my flowers are flourishing. And my tree is at the peak and height of blooming. So I have... Oh, I've got some purple on here I'm going to have to clean up. That's because there's purple on my arm. <laughs> That's all right. That'll come off. I wonder if I could get that off with a baby wipe. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Look. Okay. There we go. And let's get it off my arm, too, shall we? All right. There we are. Spring is so, in the air. Please be sure to like, follow, subscribe, give me a little thumbs up. And please don't forget to check out the um, other videos for me from the design team. They will be linked in the description below. I hope you all have a great rest of your May. And I hope your trees are all blooming and your flowers are all flourishing. And I hope you have a really great spring. Thanks so much, everybody. And most importantly, remember, please be nice to one another. It's really, really not that hard. And I think we need to learn that lesson. Thanks. Bye, everybody.